The title of the research study is Self-Regulation of Exercise Intensity for Children in Physical Education in Singapore. I am Dr. Bala, uh, the principal investigator for this study. I am from Nanyang Technological University at the National Institute of Education and from Physical Education and Sports Science. My co-investigator is Ms. Diana Thor. She's a lecturer of Physical Education and sports science. My other co-principal investigator is Mr. Pua Kia Wang. He's, for, he's a principal of Fu Hua Primary School and his research interest is best practices in physical education. Study Introduction ACSM guidelines states that uh, 30 to 60 minutes of moderate physical activity and four to five times a week, 150 minutes of vigorous PA a week. Essential to start PA at a young age to enhance cardiovascular fitness for healthy living. PE lessons play an important role in children's PA. Singapore schools have increased PE curriculum time from 1.5 hours to 2 hours weekly. PA and PE lessons should be conducted at a safe in intensity to reduce injuries during games. One way is by using Robertson's children's omniscale opposite exertion. It assesses ratings of opposite exertion or RPE during physical activity. Children are capable of self-regulating their exercise intensity by using the Omni RP scale. If exercise intensity is within the safe zone, RP 4 to 6 on the Omni RP scale, there will be weight loss and increase in fitness. Children are more motivated, experience greater joy and have their thinking enhanced while going through games concept approach, which is also called the GCA. GCA can be used in teaching a variety of sports and games such as hockey, soccer, basketball, softball, badminton and many more. Skills Approach or SA focuses more on techniques and specificity of a particular sport. In SA, more time is spent on mastering the skills as compared to active movement. This study investigated the effects of two different pedagogical methods, GCA and SA, also including self-regulation of intensity during prescribed exercise and whether the appropriate intensity during the two pedagogical approaches can induce improvement in cardiovascular fitness to benefit children's health. Study Methods 24 healthy children from a local primary school, 9.8 plus minus 0 0.4 years participated in this study. Anthropometric measures were taken, height and weight, body fat percentage using the DEXA and BIA scan and body mass index. Children also completed a pre and post 1.6 km run test on the track. Timings were recorded. They also did an incremental graded at treadmill exercise protocol at the laboratory until volitional exhaustion. Protocol. One minute per stage with speed increasing by 0 0.5 km per hour. Gradient of the treadmill increased by 1% during each stage.
RP and heart rate were rec also recorded during the last minute of each stage. Standard anchoring instructions for Omni RP scale was used before the start of the treadmill test. This is a 45 minutes primary school soccer class. Total cohort separated into two groups, experiment group and control group, with an end of 12 each. All went through six weeks of prescribed PE lessons as intervention. Each lesson was 45 minutes twice a week. Five minutes warm up, 35 minutes of GCA or SA, five minutes water break, and five minutes cool down. Children used polar heart rate watches to monitor heart rate. Children were instructed to keep the range of RP from 4 to 6 during activities. RP and heart rate were recorded every 15 minutes. EG played modified games. CG focused more on developing their skills using SA. This diagram shows the ventilatory breakpoint and the range of RP from 4 to 6. Here you can see the teacher reinforcing Omni RP scale and heart rate before the start of the warm up. And this is the warm up with RP from 0 to 3. After the warm up, the recording of RP and heart rate. This is the main body of the lesson. For RP of four to six. After the game, recording of RP and heart rate. This is the cool down, which is also RP from 0 to 3, same as the warm up. And then the recording of the final RP and heart rate. Study results. A total cohort of an N of 24. These are the descriptive statistics. Age, height, weight, BMI, body fat, 1.6 km run test, pre and post results. An independent t-test was used to compare results between EG and CG. Significant differences were not found between EG and CG in their post 1.6 km timings. Both groups showed improvements in the average 1.6 km run times, although no significant difference was found between pre and post test results. Pre and post 1.6 km results. You can see this on the table. EG RP ratings were ranged from 4 to 6 during physical activity time. You can see the table. Whereas CG RP ratings range from 2 to 10. Study Conclusions GCA with RP as a tool used during PE lessons show better adherence for children. They are able to exercise a safe intensity as the RP is more consistent. EG also self-regulated their intensity from 4 to 6 during activities.
In the video, you can see the children enjoying safe intensity exercise with fun. EG and average heart rate of 159 beats per minute, which is approximately 75% of the maximum heart rate. CGRP was from 2 to 10, then an average heart rate of 133 beats per minute, which is approximately 57.6% of the maximum heart rate. Ventilatory breakpoint of RP for children 8 to 12 years old is at 6, as shown in the diagram. Exercising within this range of 4 to 6 will produce health benefits and improve cardiovascular fitness. GCA improves cardiovascular fitness better than SA. Children from EG are able to self-regulate the excess intensity during PE lessons within the safe zone. Children can enjoy PE lessons and this prevents injuries at the same time. You can see a game of hockey with a safe intensity. Physical activity and modified games are fundamental in a child's growing progress. Small segments of PE lessons can still be dedicated to learn skills needed in the sport. This re-emphasizes the reason behind the use of such an approach in PE curriculum in Singapore and in the rest of the world. With Omni RP scale, children will be ensured of an effective and safe PE lessons bringing health benefits. In the video, you can see children enjoying captain's ball at a safe intensity. Therefore, we highly encourage the use of Omni RP scale for children and adolescents. This scale helps them to self-regulate their exercise intensity within a safe zone. In addition, it improves the cardiovascular fitness of children and adolescents during PE lessons. Have a safe and fun PE lesson. Thank you.